Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Quite a while ago, I did a tutorial showing how to make a portrait out of text. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to do it quicker and better, including how to make it in color. You can mix fonts and sizes, and because they're live, they're fully editable. Feel free to use any photo you'd like. If you want to use this image, its link is located in the video's description or project files. Its size is approximately 1300 by 1900 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. If you're using a color photo, desaturate it by pressing Ctrl Shift U on a PC or Command Shift U on a Mac. To make the darkest tones black and the lightest tones white, press Ctrl or Command Shift L. We need to make a selection around the head and shoulders. For this example, I'll use the pencil tool. First, click on your quick mask button and make sure black is your foreground color. If it isn't, click on this small black and white box icon. Open your pencil tool. We'll make the size 5 pixels and the hardness 100%. Draw around the head and shoulders. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially around the hair. Open your paint bucket tool. Click down inside the portrait to fill it in. Press Q to make the quick mask into a selection. Invert it by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift I. Go to Select and Save Selection. Name it Highlights and click OK or press Enter or Return. Delete the selection by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy of the original image. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Artistic Folder and click Cutout. Make the number of levels 2, the Edge Simplicity 5, and the Edge Fidelity 1. Then click OK. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Threshold. The threshold is 128. Go to Select and Color Range. Select Shadows and click OK. We'll save the selection and name it Shadows. Then delete the selection. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white and since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Go to Window and Character. In the Character panel, choose a font that has at least two weights. I'm using Arial. For the highlights of the portrait, I'll use Arial Regular. The size is 8 points and the letting is 7 points. Letting is the amount of space between lines of text. Press the All Caps icon. This makes the text all caps even if the original text is upper and lower case. Go to the top left corner, click down, and drag it to the bottom right corner. This text box, or bounding box, makes the text we place inside this area conform to the dimensions of the box. If you resize the bounding box, Photoshop adjusts the wrapped ends of the text to account for the new size. For this example, I'll fill it with Lincoln's Gettysburg address. I already searched for it in my browser. When you find the text block you'd like to use in your portrait, highlight it and press Ctrl or Command C to copy it. I'll minimize the browser's window click down inside the top left corner of the bounding box and press Ctrl or Command V to paste the text into it. Click on the thumbnail of the text to accept it. Press Z to open your zoom tool. Zoom into your text and click on your type tool. Let's make the entire text block into one unbroken paragraph. I'll click to the left of the first character and press the backspace key to move it to the left so it's flushed with the bounding box. I'll click to the left of the first character of the second paragraph and press the delete key 
until the text moves up to meet the first paragraph. Continue until we have one unbroken paragraph. Highlight it and copy it. Press Ctrl or Command-0 to see the entire document on your screen. Click to the right of the last character and paste in the text. Continue to paste the text in until all the bounding box is filled with the text. To get rid of the uneven lines of text on the right, go to the middle right of the bounding box and press and hold Control on a PC or Command on a Mac. When you see this white pointer, drag it to the right. Then, click the thumbnail of the text layer to accept it. Let's name it Highlights, and then make a copy of it. Click off the eyeball of the original text to hide it, and we'll name the copy Shadows. Double-click on the thumbnail to highlight the text, and change the font to the heaviest weight. Make the size 12 points, and the letting 9 points. Click on the thumbnail to accept it. Open your Channels panel and control click or command click on the Shadows thumbnail to make it into a selection. Open back up your Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the active layer, which is the Shadows text. Make the Highlights text layer visible and active. Go back to your Channels panel and control click or command click on the Highlights thumbnail to make it into a selection, and then go to the Shadows thumbnail and press Control Alt on a PC or Command Option on a Mac to subtract this shape from the highlight shape, leaving just the highlights of the portrait. Open back up your Layers panel and click on the Layer Mask button to make a layer mask next to the highlights text. As I mentioned at the beginning, the text is live and editable. So, for example, if we want to increase the size of the text in the shadow areas, double-click on the thumbnail of the shadows text to highlight all the text, and type in a higher number. To accept it, click back on the thumbnail. To modify the size of the text in the highlight areas, make the highlights layer active, and double-click on the thumbnail to highlight all the text. I'll change the point size to 6 and click on the thumbnail to accept it. Next, I'll show you how to make your portrait into full color. Make the top layer active and click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white, and since white is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Hide the layer, open your Channels panel, and click on the dotted circular icon at the bottom to select all the tonal values of your image. Open back up your Layers panel and make the white layer visible. Invert the selection by pressing Ctrl-Shift-I on a PC or Command-Shift-I on a Mac. To hide the selection, press Ctrl or Command-H. Let's fill the selection with gradient colors. Open your gradient tool and click on the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Click on the lower left stop and the color box. Pick a color, click OK, and click on the lower right stop. Pick another color and close the windows. I'll choose a linear gradient. Have fun experimenting with all the different types of gradients. Go to the top of your document, press and hold Shift, drag down the gradient to the bottom, and release. A quick way to change the colors of the gradient is to click on the Adjustment Layer button and choose Hue Saturation. By sliding the amounts of Hue, Saturation, and Lightness, you can non-destructively change the color of your portrait. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.